How you doing? Back again. Yeah, we talk about the next thing and what I need to cover. It's going to be like a general topic about Avatar Law and what it stands for. See, when you put on that badge, you're to serve and protect his children with honor, honor, honor and integrity. It's getting light, having a hard time talking. Anyway, uh, it's always been about that, but it hasn't always been like that. And that's what's made its job so hard for the ones that were doing it. It is the saddest part of law enforcement. It's ones that don't respect their job and what they're really there for. However, I'm seeing a change going down big time. And, uh, you know, coming back and taking the world back, yeah, that's big. But even more important is restoring God's law. Because without it, the children are unprotected. People can do what they want and hurt his children. And so it is the most important department of every department that I have told you what God wants. Yeah, the teachers are right up there with you, but the shield of God, that's the most important one. And so wearing that badge with honor and integrity is a commitment that you have to take serious. And uh, God's going to back you up. And then you guys will talk at your judgment day. And uh, just wait and see all the awesome that comes with serving for him in this department. But remember, he's always right there. And if you look in your heart, he'll give you some answers of how to handle situations. Because you're going to have a lot of free reign in a lot of ways. Because, uh, you know that mark of the beast? It's pretty damn serious. And uh, tickets. They tear up people. As far as, uh, you know, financial or records and such like that. Working out a system of warning, you know, getting to know your community and knowing that, uh, you know, this is the first time that gets been pulled over for this, you know, I, dude, here's the way we got to do this. Dude, you cannot do that. No, no, no. And then there's those ones that are like, all right, buddy, this is my third time talking to you about it. No. We're going to go a different route. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to look in your heart to make that judgment calls on people. And uh, 
give them lenience when they need lenience. But be a parent when they need a parent. And when they need a judge, you're going to have to put it down. But God's going to have your back. And nobody else will be there at Judgment Day for you. It'll just be you and us. And uh, I look forward to the day. Especially after we have this little cleanup. And just in case y'all are out there wondering, does that mean I, I, I did that? Okay, here's what I want you to know. All right. What's your heart telling you right now? And even more clear, if you're listening to my message, you're probably pretty cool off. All right. So uh, don't sweat it. All right. Now, if you're in a rabbit hole, everybody's going to know it anyway. And you probably ain't even listening to these tapes. And you, you just, that guy's crazy as hell. So whatever, you know, it's uh, individual plans. That's That's how this works. Everybody stands on their own two feet on this uh, program coming up. They are what they are. I'm really just talking to you. I want you to remember. It is about what you do and your judgment calls. You're here to protect the children. All of them. And yes, sometimes, and it's the worst damn thing you got to do, is play ref. Oh, damn, that sucks. Separate them and get them to calm down and get them to understand. They're tr you know you're all supposed to get along, right? You know that, right? <laughs> it's going to take a diplomacy kind of uh, approach in a lot of cases. And, uh, you know, training to uh, handle those referee situations. Yeah, there'll be times you got to take it to the judge and say, you know what, judge, I, I think you need to settle this one. And then they can throw it down. You know, just to make it more official and uh, attention. Anyway, you know what the plan is. You know where we're going with this. And you know what your mission is. May the force always be with you. Because it will be. God's shield will always be at your back. And if by some rare, rare chance that one of you were to fall... We'll take you in with honors. Don't you worry. We take care of our own. So, good talk? I think it was a good talk. I think uh, we covered all the bases on this. And uh, I'm feeling really good about this uh, night. And uh, a little cleansing myself there, you know? I, uh, I've been wanting to get some of that shit off my chest for a long time. I, uh, you know, I never really talked to anybody about my time there. I, uh, I just told them it was shitty. <laughs> uh, you know, it wasn't my point to try and explain, dude, you don't know shitty until <laughs> you walked it. <laughs> and I walked it. I walked it. And, uh. So in a lot of ways, I'm being cleansed tonight by clearing this all up and getting myself uh, a chance to tell my side of the story and my uh, experience. And how even then, I still found friendship and beauty. And uh, laughter. 
because I did find a lot of laughter. Uh, you know, that is a an awesome thing to get life when you're doing time is to being able to laugh still. And I did do a lot of that. So, uh, yeah, it was an awesome experience and an awesome time. I definitely don't want to do it again. I'll uh, replay the tapes for you. And uh, you get to see if you really want to see that part. I don't know. That's It is what it was. I'd rather show you the good stuff that happened in my life. That's uh, that's what I'm going to be promoting. Because there was a lot of good things that happened all through my life. Come find out. It's all because of the dynamic duels. Why all my shit getting kicked around anyway. They'll probably want to tell you all that. And laugh and... And yeah, I probably will too, you know. <laughs> look at this. Look at what they did to me here. Look at this one. Look at this damn thing. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about that day. Yeah. That's a worry. It is about having laughter in life. And, you know, when we get up there and all our problems are literally gone away from us, laughter is so easy. But we got to get an attitude right. And that's what this boot camp's about. We have to have the right attitude to live forever. Because if we don't, I'm telling you, people walk into the blinking to nothing door all the time. I've been there a hundred years and, dude, they just aren't happy. They never really figured out what it means to be happy. And when you have an eternal life, you can easily set into boredom. And uh, regret is usually the number one cause. So, uh, anyway, it's been a good talk and a good night. I think I'm going to do a couple more videos and catch some shut eye. I don't even know if I'm really going to work now. He said I wasn't. But if I get to sleep now, oh man, it'd be like three hours. I don't know. I, uh, he, uh, he tells me. I'll find out after I get off the phone here and, uh, let y'all have the rest of the night. And we just had a short third shift. It was, you know, sometimes you do that, you know. I, I, I am working on some serious overtime here. I uh problem is I ain't getting paid for any of it. I don't know what the hell. I know I'm gonna end up sleeping under a bridge in this last couple of weeks, Chris, and then we got friggin' snow coming. I don't know. You know what? I have faith in my father and uh I'm sure he, he's gonna take care of me. So uh don't you worry. We're good to go. That's uh He's got us all. He always has. Always has. We just didn't know it. We do now. I'll be glad when this Bible's done, though. <laughs> Love to see how it's going to end. What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> it's like a drama. Can't, can't wait to see the end. Oh, what's going to happen? Tomorrow, tomorrow's another day, another chapter. All right, have a good evening, folks.